What is going on guys? Wiser here bringing you the recap of one of the most recent wars for 2.0. Uh, it was a random matchup against Reddit Omega, uh, one of the founding clans of the RWCS, the Reddit War clan system. So obviously there's a bazillion clans in their family, but uh, this is one of their top uh, top clans within the family, I believe. I don't know a heck of a lot about, the, about that group, but um, basically just kind of going off their description here. Um, you know, obviously, I got them on Twitter. I talk to talk to some of their guys all the time. I believe Zach is their YouTuber. Does a really good job. He actually immediately had a recap uh, out and ready, <laughs> so kind of hustled me to get this one done. Um, but he did a really good job, guys. So go ahead and check out. I will put this link down YouTube at YouTube.com/c/zskuld. Um, that guy deserves more subs because he uh, he put some really nice videos together. Just wanted to give you a shout out, Zach, because. Uh, you do a really good job. I was really impressed with uh, the recap you did for uh, for this war. And hey, <laughs> you kind of uh, sparked some things in me. I mean, this guy puts background music in his uh, in his recaps. That's awesome. Anyways, uh, really good job over there, Zach. Really good job over all Reddit Omega. Um, you know, 110 to 108 victory. Uh, I believe neither side really had any sort of amazing stellar war we'll quickly check out what they did to us they did get a couple th10 triples in there so really good job on that that was kind of the difference in score right there um kind of i'll show what happened on the other side in a second but they did a really good job more or less clearing the nines both sides had to use a lot of bullies um way more than i think either of us would have liked I mean, you can kind of, there's one two three four five Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, <laughs> eleven. <laughs> Anyways, lots of bullies on both sides. I think we had about the same, like nothing different. Both of the Town Hall 9 struggled. And you know what? Our uh, Town Hall 10 versus Town Hall 10 game is definitely still not there. We know that. Um, we're working hard on it. We're, uh, we're, it's, it's going to come in time here. And, um, you know, as we kind of get more maxed heroes going and, and that kind of thing, it will help a lot. Uh, had some near misses, but just could not get it done this war. So, you know, when our town hall 10 versus 10 is not quite there yet, and our Town Hall 9 struggle, it it is a recipe for disaster for us right now because, um, you know, we're just all over the bullies. And uh, this attack was definitely the attack of the war. We got this really early on. And actually, we were looking very good at one point. Um, just looking at, you know, all of our bullies and making sure those came in. And then um, having this under the belt, we really just needed, you know, one on these lower Town Hall 10s to to make this a fight to the finish but um unfortunately we did have a guy go mia missed two of our town hall nine attacks and he generally uh is one of our top town hall nine attackers as well so that is unfortunate um because that could have really really been a big difference we had an extra shot you know on this guy but um take a look at some of these percentages really um really some good base designs from reddit omega because usually especially on these town hall 11 bullies dipping down usually see high 90 percent at least but nothing of the sorts here again was a struggle for both sides um you know from our struggles started at the town hall 9 level and went right up to the top so is what it is definitely red omega deserved the win here because they uh they stuck true and uh and held on to a, a two-star victory so congrats over there guys again like i said uh check out our comments and uh you can go check out their youtube channel that guy deserves more subs uh zach you're awesome over there so anyhow moving in let's uh check a few of these hits going down to the bottom of the map so let's keep moving down and check out glenny boy going in on number 38 uh so glenn brings the standard shattered govaho um uses the mortar as an anchor there really just perfect placement on that second goal make sure it doesn't wander over that mortar as well um weird little spring trap on the outside does fail though uh you know test wall breaker is successful so wall gets opened up um something i'm really trying to get away in my own base designs is this isn't a bad base by any means it's very boxy though um, which kind of leaves you open a double jump Govaho because it's really easy to judge your jump spells. Um, I know it's easier said than done to, uh, you know, create your compartments so it's difficult to, to judge where your Valks are going to go. But uh, anyhow, Glenn does it really well here. Jump spell down, heal spell down, poisons down, CC and Wizards just ripping through that, or sorry, uh, Wizards and Queen ripping through that CC. <clears throat> Start sending the Hawks from 9 o'clock now. He's going to drop a heal spell over here. Uh, keep them moving through. 
right? Golem's just jumping in, doing all sorts of tanking up now on this core. Defensive Queen is dead. King's in there doing work as well. Wizard's still alive in there doing work, right? When you can get your Wizards right in the core and they're protected by all that sort of stuff, that is good news for you. Clean up Wizard immediately on the outside. I like that one. Hogs are now going to move through the rest of this base. There's so many of them and there's absolutely no chance of any sort of bombs or anything in this uh, 3 o'clock compartment. Poison Spell goes down, takes care of those skeletons in a GIF. And down go the last three defenses. This base is GG. Mm. Recap juice is tasting extra special today. It's tree in the bag for Glenny Boy. Nice job, man. All right, moving up the chains. Number 35, Mick Gravy. Our European guys, Caddick and Gravy. Um, I think who else? I don't want to miss anyone. Um, LDP has been a beast. I don't know if he's from Europe, but anyways, Caddick and Gravy are specific are just on a tear with their attacks. These guys help each other plan every hit they make, and they are just really just showing showing, you know, their true uh, beastliness. I guess we'll say. Um, Grady comes in, nice little bit of a, a queen charge here. Going to just move the queen. I guess she she kind of walks up and around. Poison spell goes down, takes care of the thing. I think he does open this wall, actually, and steps up in here. Yeah, he does. Yeah, here come the wall breakers. Going to open up that wall. Easy peasy. Kind of interesting giant on the, the top there to drop those two hogs and get uh, basically a three for two trade kind of thing. Because he walks in, ends up getting uh, the wizard tower, I believe, out of the deal as well. Oh, no, he doesn't. Loses one to a hog, but oh, well. Queen is now going to pull out this CC. Second poison is going to go down. Take care of all of those gobbies. Take care of that dragon. <clears throat> so down it goes. Queen is just going to mop through this stuff. He does. Oh, sorry about that. He does have to burn the ability here, which is probably a good thing. Um, you do not want to lose that queen, right? She just basically the whole raid hinges on her success. But the CC is now taken care of. A big chunk of the base is now taken care of. So he can go ahead, send in these three dragons. He's already created a funnel for them down here. Three dragons with a couple balloons just kind of going in on these defenses. Going to keep these dragons moving right towards the queen. Has another raid spell. He's going to perfectly drop so close. <laughs> so close to losing that queen. Sweeper was even giving him trouble, but just absolutely perfect timing on that. Still has that balloon in there doing some work, right? So that balloon took out uh, two balloons, now taking out three defenses. Dragons are in there. Defensive queen is dead, right? Those dragons are going to get a huge value. Those air defense are so far over now on this other side of the base. Drops his king, creates a small funnel and a few Valkyries just to go in. Point of these Valkyries is to take out these defenses and hopefully get to this air defense in time. Uh, I don't think it actually happens. Um, heal spell does go down. Oh, maybe it does. Because he goes right up here, slowly going to take care of this air defense, sends in a few hogs, finally takes it down, just in time to save those dragons from sure death, right? So both air defenses are now down. These dragons are going to continue to rip through the base. Got hogs in, under a heal, no chance whatsoever. Just absolutely smash this base, Grady. The sexy six-pack flex in this war. Beautiful. Tree stars in the bag. Just awesome breakdown on that one. All right, so moving up, uh, the next man I was just speaking of, Caddick, <clears throat> brings a really sexy attack here. Only two Valkyries he brings, a four healer, 16 hogs he's going to be left over with. I think he's got a CC full of Valks too. Uh, we got to watch this here. So a couple minions down, creating that funnel. Just going to walk this queen right in, opens up the wall. She's going to step right into this stuff, pull out that CC. As soon as that golem comes out of the CC and meets up with the queen, he's going to immediately send in that kill squad right on top of that queen chamber. But see, she's already created the funnel on that side of the queen chamber. So really allows him to just drop a golem, funnel off the other side, and just send in a, send in his Valk, send in his king. <clears throat> so the, here comes that golem, and like I said, it's pretty much instantly poison goes down on that queen first thing, which I thought that was really cool. Golem goes in. Creating that funnel. As soon as this DE store or DE drill goes down, here come the Valks. Here come the wall breakers, right? I really like too where you bring three Valks and three wall breakers in your CC. You get the max Valks and then the three wall breakers. If you know there's not a small bomb, the wall breaker is going to open things up right ahead of time for that those Valks. So perfect timing on that. Jump spell goes down, right? Queen is already. Um, cord out the core we'll just say so that jump spell everything's just going to get forced right down heal spell just perfect placement valks are going to continue to walk in has that second jump spell now going to go down over this intersection 
There it goes. Going to force everything up. Really just wants to take care of this. A uh, couple little bombs in there. <clears throat> Keep everything moving up towards this Tesla. Hogs are now all in. Does lose a few to spring traps and a bomb there, but still has eight more hogs in the bag. Pretty much for one compartment on the outside. And here they come. Few on the cannon. Couple on the arch tower. A few more on the other cannon. Has the swag poison. Billy still on his queen. Just absolutely smashed the base. Look at all these wizards on out here doing the cleanup. Four wizards just ripping through the base on the outside. Definitely a tree star in the bag for Kadek. Another six pack monster here. Beautiful. Um, that was 31. Let's go up to 28 days. Another six pack here on this war. Had a few guys really step up and uh, pick up the slack for some of our nines. <clears throat> you know, uh, like I said, we really struggled. We had a lot of guys do really well, but then we had a lot of guys not do very well, and uh, it was tough. We had a lot of nine still on the board. I think we used, again, same, like, probably six, eight, maybe ten bully attacks without actually counting. Way too many than what we uh, what we are accustomed to. So, is what it is, though, right? This qu little queen, queen walk's going to go just splendidly. As soon as this Rax goes down, and take out that arch tower, start her way down. <clears throat> take out the defensive king with that little poison a little bit off on that poison because king walks out of it and then doesn't get the queen but no big deal right she's just going to work through that think he's got to burn the ability here in one second there goes the rage help her out a little bit so now goes that king i'm going to continue her way just smack down this queen does not have to burn the ability my bad queen goes down and there we go in goes the hog going to lure out that clan castle out comes the dragon loons, has one more poison. He's going to drop down just right over here. Take care of that drag. Take care of those balloons. She immediately locks onto the dragon, which is perfect. You really want to get that thing down quickly, especially if the loons are start on the poison on the other side, because by the time they get to the queen, they're basically dead, if not dead already. Does smartly probably hit the ability there, because one or two balloon drops can really ruin your day for your queen walk. So good job on that, Days. Full, uh, full basically nine to six locations now taken care of. Cold-blooded golem goes in, still has six Valks in the bag, just creating that funnel for them. Wall breaker test is in, triggering that small bomb. So in go the rest. Opens up the wall. Kaboom. Everything's moving in now. He's going to send these Valks in right behind this king. Here they come. <clears throat> Jump spell is going to unlock basically this entire core, right, where the you look at the dangerous bomb locations, right? Probably uh, one up in here, some down in here. So it goes ahead and drops that heal spell. Boom. There's one bomb. Valks are kind of wandering up top, which kind of sucks. They do take the test load in the process, but the expo ends up finishing them off before the rest of the kill squad can get there. But it doesn't matter because that king hasn't even been touched, still has a heal spell, still has that queen down there doing work with the healers on her. So start sending in the hogs, sprinkling in from basically 2 to 12. <clears throat> Again, still has that heal spell, which I believe is going to go right there. There she is, kind of getting double duty on the barbs and the and the hogs there. Hogs are just going to rip through the remaining of these defenses. Really only a cannon in the queen chamber to go. <clears throat> very, very sexy raid days. Days for days. Tree stars for days. Nice job, man. Sexy time. Right, I think I have one more Town Hall 9 I want to show you. Then, of course, I'm going to show that very sexy 11 on 11 triple. So, this is LDP, one of our secret elite members of uh, our secret European task force, we'll call them. <laughs> I don't, again, I don't know where LDP is from. I, I'm to probably totally wrong about that. I do know Grady. I know obviously know Caddix from the Netherlands. Um, pretty, sh I'm not 100% sure where Grady's from, but definitely somewhere over in Europe. Um, these guys plan have their own little kind of chat group. They plan everything together, and it really, really pays off because they are just six pack monsters. LDPs. Queen charge going absolutely splendidly here. Pulls out the CC, gets that raid spell down just in time. Works through the Tesla farm. Just huge value already on that queen, right? CC's on the way out to her. Just going to work through that golem. And then I believe finish opening up this wall. There it is. Wall gets opened up. So she's just going to finish off that golem and then wander down into this compartment and have access to a huge amount of product, we'll just say. <clears throat> so Golemites are dead. She's going to continue her way down into the hole. <clears throat> take out the cannon. Take out the air defense. Start working on that expo and all these defenses. So here it comes, the cold-blooded Golem. <clears throat> Basically the same idea now as Caddick. Just going to create that funnel. 
get the Valks in. Does have a bit of a wall breaker fail, but you guys know Valkyries. As long as you get that funnel created properly, they are just going to rip through the wall. Let's watch how fast this lava wall goes down. And three swipes. They split up a little bit. It would have been a lot faster, but look how fast these walls, just lava walls, just get shredded by the Valks. No big deal. Jump spell is down. Queen is still doing her thing in that core now. See all the stuff she's going to have access to. Work on that uh, clan castle and start working on the Archer Tower and Wizard Tower as well. Valks are in, triggering bombs, under heals. No big deal whatsoever. Second jump spell goes down. Pretty much the whole base is now unlocked. Only has a few outer compartments to deal with with the Hogs. So they are in, working on the Arch Tower. They've got to work their way over to the 9 o'clock compartment. Still has that ability up on the King. Still has two cleanup wizards and a cleanup gob, which immediately get deployed at the uh, 3 and 6 o'clock location. Start working on that trash. Just beautiful. Hits that ability on the King to work through the rest of the rest of the defenses here. Still has a bunch of hogs in there helping out. Definitely a tree in the bag for my man LDP. Look at all these Valks left. 1, 2, 3, 4. I think like... Is that five, maybe six Valkyries still alive down there? Beautiful. Tree stars in the bag for LDP. Right on. So, again, way more bullies than we wanted on those nines. So, uh, I think we would have had a lot more success up top if our nines uh, had held true to what they usually do and uh, cleared that board for them, which we did not. So, that sucks. But we did have a very sexy <laughs> this attack was just alluring like to the point where even reddit uh zach showed it on their own channel just because it was so awesome this attack was just unbelievable look at that eight healers 14 valkyries right brings the earthquake and a jump here really just wants to get good good value um one thing I know Zach did mention in his video is that this base was not an ideal base that he wanted to use. Uh, didn't have time to make a new one and definitely was not the best of base designs. But regardless, still, right, these Max Infernos and Max Eagle, Max Heroes, um, not not an easy task to do by any means whatsoever. And Papa just absolutely kills this. So <clears throat> it's a little bit of a queen charge. Going to kind of just take out this Arch Tower and move her way down. End up getting all of this stuff here. Here come the Valks. So he knows he's funneling them off of that army camp. Right onto this little clump of buildings. And let's just smash through the wall. Does send the wall breakers. But the Valks are pretty much through the wall before the wall breakers even get there. All these Valks are now in. Raid spell goes down. They're going to shred up this core. Now, very scary moment because of that golem. They do do quite a bit of damage to Valks, but no big deal. He's got all those healers in there. Remember, eight healers. Only four were for the queen. Four were for these Valkyries. They're just keeping them going right through all of this stuff. Like, look how just quickly this base melts. Like, the entire core instantly melted from those Valks. Still has a raid spell down there. Still has the healers in there, right? Queen got in there, helped uh, work on those air defenses just in time to keep all these healers. Like, look, he's got healers all over the base, kind of healing everything. Just absolutely fantastic. Now, uh, did use the Grand Warren ability kind of early to get the Valks all through that core, which is no big deal, because if you look, he's got um, ability still in his king that he, sorry, hadn't even dropped his king yet at this point. Um, one of the things you got to watch for when doing this attack, you want the healers on your Valkyries, because you want, as soon as the Inferno Towers to go, that go down, you want those Valkyries healed right back up. Same thing if you're bringing a heal spell, guys. Don't burn it too early. You want to burn it right as the Inferno goes down so that the Valkyries can get healed back up because if they're getting touched by the Infernos, they will not get benefit from that healing. Um, but see those four healers in there keeping everything alive. Valkyries in there now just has just enough, right? Like there's an ability on the king to burst through. Like I bet he didn't even necessarily need to drop the king. Almost like a swag king. King did do a little bit of tanking, so really hard to, hard to say that. But um, absolutely just smash this base pop. A very, very, very sexy hit, my friend. Tree stars in the bag. 11 on 11. Mm. All right. So um, <laughs> painful war for both sides. Uh, nice win, uh, RO. Uh, really nice job. Hopefully we can uh, meet again because uh, I know we can definitely put up a much better performance and I'm sure you guys can as well. So hopefully sometime in the future we might match again because uh, overall, you know, so it, as, as painful as it was and uh, as many struggles as we had, still really nice to match up against a really good fair play clan and uh, just have some fun, right? Uh, that's what uh, that's what the fair play community and, you know, um, that's what we live for. Like right? it's just good, fair, fun competition. Uh, you know, no worries about anything. And I'm really starting to feel that since we're getting all these bands that 
the the feeling of guys cheating or modding or whatever you want to say is starting to go away a little bit. You know, you're not worried as much anymore or thinking, and, you, and specifically more about your own climbmates, right? Like, I mean, I'm I'm a co-leader within 2.0, so one of the things I gotta watch for is guys that are looking a little shady, and I hate that. I hate wondering, wow, this guy's on a streak. Is he modding, right? So just even that alone just makes me feel so much more comfortable and just so much having, having a lot more fun. You don't have to worry about stupid crap like that anymore. So anyhow, Zach, Reddit Omega, you guys are awesome. Um, really appreciate the uh, fact that you showed this hit on your own channel. That was really cool, but uh, it was a very nice hit. I will add. And uh, you're definitely a bunch of stand-up guys over there, so keep it up, uh, Reddit Omega. Good war. Uh, all fun in the end. Uh, I think that will do it here, though, guys. Uh, that's your wisdom from Wiser. Just trying to help you bag that next tree star. Until then, I'm up.